Hey everyone, it's Matt from Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews, and we're here with a little bit of a different video this week. We're going to be talking about a destination, Taino Bay, and hope you got a little preview, but let's talk about how we ended up at Taino Bay. So, we were spending a cruise over Christmas on Royal's new ship, Odyssey of the Seas, and with all things COVID right now, we have to be prepared for things to be able to change on, on a moment's whim. So, make it short, Puerto Rico, canceled, new requirements. St. Thomas, also canceled. But then we found out we were going to Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic. So we're like, yeah, we'll make the best of this, this is cool. So we arrived in Puerto Plata in the morning and. Here was our view off our aft balcony room. Now, we weren't looking into the city, we were looking out to the ocean, which was beautiful, but it was a really beautiful view. There was an old town here off to the right, and we were excited to get off the ship. So, we got off the ship and said, let's go explore, maybe we'll find a place for lunch. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. Well, there was a bit of a walk, as you can see here, so let's, let's speed things up and uh, get down this uh, pier a little bit faster. But I'll be honest, we, we really had no idea what we were going to be walking into. So we get here to the end of the pier and you know walk past the security and we start walking in. Now, just to let you guys know, if you see this little cart off to the right, those were free. You could take them back and forth down the pier if you didn't want to walk on that distance. About a five minute walk. Um, free, definitely should tip them. But we got to the end here in a nice plaza, and we see this sign that says Taino or Taino. I, I, I think it's Taino Bay, but I'm not sure. Like, all right, that looks nice. Don't know what Taino Bay is. I thought we were in Puerto Plata, but I guess it's the area we're in. So we go in. We have this nice lobby here. Information desk off to the right. This would also be if you were taking a uh, Royal Caribbean excursion or other maybe other excursions I don't know this would also be the meeting location and they would take you through the gates up above or uh, just past this fountain to go out but this really nice beautiful fountain nice open lobby um, there this seems to be an original building that was here already um, you can see the Diamonds International there and a duty-free shop but we couldn't see anywhere else to go besides go through the duty-free shop so we walk in and you know typical duty-free shop your your alcohol your tobacco your your uh, gifts and such but then we walk through these doors and we're like oh this looks interesting and, you know it, it, this kind of almost uh hawaiian or tahitian style and you know we looked off the left beautiful view up back up the pier to the boat then we, we kept moving forward and, and we saw the shops. And here was the cool thing about it. It was, it was really how this place was laid out. Um, you didn't have shops piled on top of each other. They were spread out nicely, as you can see here. That one's empty. You can see it, it hasn't been filled yet. But what we discovered is Taino Bay was brand new, like two weeks new. Like not even everything was finished yet, by far not finished yet. But they had a number of shops open, which were very interesting. You can see this spot here, where we're walking along, it's almost like a boardwalk. That Those are actual water features, um, like right there between the shops, that's water. Um, so it gave it a nice island field, of course intermingled within the shops were bars and such, so here we are at the Mojito Bar, so uh, in the middle of your shopping, you want to stop for a quick drink, uh, there you go, but, you know, out of all the port shopping districts that I've been to, I've never seen one like this in the Caribbean, and I don't think I've seen one this beautiful um, in the Caribbean. So all kinds of different shops. Um, one thing I really liked, as you can see here, is a lot of the shops were local in nature. Um, they weren't the typical, you know, same jewelry stores or the same um, clothing shops that you would always see at most of the piers that you just repeat over and over again. You get a lot of different stores, um, but a lot of them with a lot of local flair to them. Now, 
Maybe there'll be more stores brought in over time, but I thought this one was really cool because uh, you had a lot of uh, local liquors, like uh, I think it's called Mama Juana and, and things like that that are local to the Dominican Republic that you uh, could take advantage of. So uh, just a really neat experience, some more insides of the stores, another local one. Um, of course, you're gonna get your standard trinkets that you see in a lot of the Caribbean destinations, but oh, gotta make sure have our hands sanitized and in each store, uh, which is a great thing. But um, you know, just some really nice shops to look at and, uh, and uh, purchase some goods and support the, the local economy. And here's one last shop to take a look in. Um, again, a number of shops like this, but there, there was a pretty wide variety of the types of things that you could get um, in uh, the shops that were in Porto Plata here in the Dominican Republic. But it wasn't just shopping. We also had a few nice restaurants. This was the largest restaurants, San Mangu, I, be I believe it was pronounced. And this was a very large, airy restaurant. And we did have lunch here. We decided to try it out. It was quite good local uh, Dominican Caribbean food. Um, again, they just been open. You can see that there are there's woodwork um, framing around the restaurant that hasn't been finished yet, but they wanted to get the cruise ships in um, and finishing uh, and, and get moving forward with that restaurant. So um, really great food there and we really enjoyed it. They also had this huge bar outside that uh, you could sit under. They had those swinging chairs and of course bar stools, just a really nice quiet place to relax. Also, beyond the shopping and the restaurants, they also had this massive pool, which I believe was free to use. I mean, I walked through, no one asked me for anything. They had a bar right next to it, tons of loungers, chairs, you can get your drinks. Of course, drinks aren't gonna be free. They also had this beach area uh, right off of there. Now, I say beach, it was sand and loungers and all that, but there is no beach area you could walk into the water. The last thing, uh, that I'm gonna show you from Tino Bay's. We saw this giant monkey ape thing and we're like, what is going on? So we talked to some people, paid and went in and we found ourselves surrounded by monkeys. I mean, I'm talking, I think they were squirrel monkeys and they were all over us. I mean, granted with some food, but even tried to shoot a video. Mm. Open your hand, let me put some seats. <laughs> so you can see shooting a video was very tough with all the monkeys but they loved Rebecca I mean look at them all over her and in her face butt in her face and everything um, so and at this point I believe I counted I think there were 10 monkeys on us at this point uh, so Yep, just a lot of fun. Ryan was a little skittish, as you can tell in this photo, um, but he eventually warmed up to him and even you know, had a little bit of time with a monkey on his arm and he just really lit up and enjoyed it. And this, this was the last thing we did, but we really enjoyed it. I think it was like 25 bucks for Rebecca and I each and then 20 for Ryan. So if you really like monkeys, great experience at Tino Bay. So we're getting ready to head back to the ship and we look over at the ship and we see what, what's the sign over here? So we go and check it out and it says us, you know, like I said, there's more to come. Second phase coming soon, 2022 of Tino Bay. So they, we only saw probably, I'm guessing half of what Tino Bay is going to be. There's going to be a lot more of it, as you can see from the construction here. Um, so something to look forward to expanding it. So one thing to also check out was the band on the way back to the ship. Very friendly, very nice. And then it's time to head back. And you know, I had so much food, wanted to make sure that uh, I walked it off so I didn't take the uh, transportation back. I did walk the pier back. Um, so of course, you're not gonna wanna see all of that. So let's speed things up again. So uh, it's a nice, again, it's a very nice breezy walk. And this poor lady next to you here dropped her, uh, her cane. So uh, helped her out with that and then went back on my way. And uh, 
that's it for Taino Bay. We just thought it was a great port shopping restaurant, pool, beach area. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy it if you get a chance to stop at Puerto Plata. Uh, but that's what I'm going to show you from the Dominican Republic. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and also check out the rest of the Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews channel and hit subscribe. This is Matt from Cruises, Rooms, and Reviews. Happy cruising, everyone.